Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. The leaders of the Yoruba nation and their Biafran counterparts declare full support for each other concerning the freedom of the two nations. Professor Banji Ekintoye, who spoke on behalf of the Yoruba nation agitators, reaffirmed their commitment to take the Yoruba nation out of the zoo called Nigeria. He said with the representatives of the Yoruba and Biafran people happily inform the world that we have resolved to collaborate in our struggles for the self-determination and sovereignty of our two nations. Our two separate struggles are aimed at achieving two nation states, one for the Yoruba and one for Biafra. He further stressed that both the Biafra and Yoruba nation struggles will aim for the same goal and continue to operate along parallel lines. The honorable and well-respected professor demanded that Nigeria must now obey its court order. He called for Motsi Namdi Konu to be released immediately and compensated for the atrocious crime against his person and human rights violations carried out by the Nigerian government. They also have to carry out the court ruling and compensate Comrade Sunday Adiemo for all the destruction at his Ibodon residence by the Zoo DSS. Representing the Biafran side, Motsi Simon Ekpa also declared and reaffirmed his commitment meant to see that Biafra and Yoruba are taken out of the dam so called Nigeria. He declared that Nigeria was long dusted and done, that the Biafra people and Yoruba nations will stop at nothing to alleviate the suffering of our people by cutting off the colonial cancer called Nigeria. Which brings us to the next topic. As this joint broadcast was going on, the Biofro media irats went to work. They started their usual trolling but this time against Yemi Koiki of Koiki Media. Immediately the joint broadcast was announced by Koiki Media and was going to be on one of the autopilot channels, all hell broke loose. They started spewing their usual follow the DOS structure rubbish like they did to Simon. They were angry they didn't get the approval of Mohammed Abbas aka the structure. The same structure that is hiding somewhere in Kuwait. Idiots. The structure is a ghost. Who wants to be talking to someone who is playing a fake character? No sensible person would work with someone with a long rap sheet of alleged criminality. Does anyone think Yoruba agitators are stupid and gullible as Biofra media irats? You must be daft to think they are not paying attention to the shenanigans going on in the Biofra struggle. They can tell what is true and what is fake. Anyways, Smotsi Simon Ekpa assured the Biofra and Odujiwa people that this cooperation is for the good of our people. He called out the Fulani-led Nigeria Zoo government for alleged crimes against the indigenous peoples of Nigeria. He declared the agitation for the freedom of both nations has just begun and will see increased cooperation by the day. Mossi Ekpa Simon warned the Yoruba nation to disregard the trolls and their stupid utterances on social media as their reaction was anticipated and they delivered like the morons they are. Chief Sunday Igboho, who was also present thanked both nations for their support. He warned that if the Biofra and Odudua people fail to stand up for their rights, their future generations will reap the benefits of Janjoidism. Other representatives spoke in the broadcast, each assuring of victory against the enemies of freedom. In another development, the one who goes about flagging people's channels, resides in South Africa. He calls himself Dr. Ikenga Yuruagu. Dr. Ikenga has once again come out to defend Senator Ifani Yuba. He called out one of our partner channels for exposing the alleged conspiracy to abduct Motsi Namdi Konu and those involved. Like in the previous video about Ifani Yuba, we stated categorically that we won't cast judgment on anyone without substantial evidence like audio or video. All we did was present the rumors and analysis and let Biafrons make the judgment. We urge the senator in question to make commitments and take bold steps to dispel the rumors. However, we also said that every rumor has a truth hiding somewhere. One version of the rumor say it wasn't his private jet that was used to transport Motsi Namdi Konu to the zoo but his friends. Whatever may be the case, the truth is hiding somewhere in different variations of the rumors. But how can someone who has insulted the entire Matsi Namdi Konu family including Mohamed Ikie Biofra, earn anyone's respect? Listen to the so-called doctor speak. 
My name is Comrade Ikengulu Agon, and uh, I want to talk about one audio note that is trending. You know, my people have to be very, very careful. These are people who are not even proud enough to show their face. But what they do, they will hide under internet diction to, you know, call people names. Today, find you, but tomorrow, find you, but today, find you, but tomorrow, find you, but every time, if I knew, but if I knew, but if I knew, but since Imagine Nande Kano was kidnapped and the rendition to Nigeria, people have been trying everything they can to put it in if uh, to put it on if I knew, but and I don't know why. It's a, I don't know why people are doing this, but let I can assure you that these are political. Opponents. These are people who don't like Ifanyo, but for who he is, because he's rich. You know, our people are suffering from this cardinal, three cardinal disease, greedy, envy, and jealousy. And as a result of that, they are doing everything humanly possible to make sure they wipe Ifanyo out of this planet, which is impossible, because they can only try, but they will fail. I will tell you where I'm coming from. Why are you guys trying to blackmail Ifanyoba? Do you know the antecedent of Ifanyoba? Do you know the record of Ifanyoba? Ifanyoba have done much more than your own senator that you may think of. During a Anambra state election, when things were in the peak, very, very hot, Ifanyoba came out and declared, make it open that that he don't know the reason why the federal government is holding it uh, and they, can, they, sh they should listen. They should listen so that we can start enjoying uh, our normal peace in our land. If I knew about right to visit Mazen and they can in DSS custody, they refused him. If I knew about him to court, your own senator did it. If I knew about have done more than, you know, more than anyone can think of. A more powerful, he is a media dictator to IPOB. I've come out to debunk the lie of people. People lying that if I knew by private jet was what they used to religion Mazen and these are all fallacy. These are all to blackmail. You you are not even proud enough to show your face. What you do, you will hide on the Facebook and you will cover your face and you'll be making audios upon audios and upon audios just to blackmail a man who did nothing to you people. Let me tell you, if you don't know who you find your baggage, when our internal leader died, do you know how many thousand pounds you find your baggage invested to make sure that the funeral went successfully? If I knew was a governor, uh, uh, governorship candidate in Anambra State, he, he lose and Saludo won. Do you know how much if I knew by and the gadgets if I knew by used to support this very government. Why are you people chasing after a man that did nothing to you? Because you know that this is not true. But you are just sharing it to a tarnish image of somebody who did nothing to you. If I knew by, it's not enemy of Biafra. And if I knew by, will never be enemy of Biafra. If I knew by is not the enemy of Mazen Mandekana, if I knew by is not enemy of IPOB, and if I knew by will never be enemy of IPOB, in fact, if I knew by will never work against IPOB, it's not possible. It's not possible because if I knew by is indigenous person of Biafra. Here is a reaction from one of our brothers. Na eh, ezoku ezoku, that is it. Okay, opotrana na chike dozia na who this is. I mean, obu na chike dozie true true. True true obu na chike dozie the determine for Biafra. Is he not seeing this guy? Why can't chike dozie expel this guy from IPOB? Chike dozie have expelled so many people that we can't even see what they did from IPOB. Now why is chike dozie leaving this guy to continue to remain as a member of IPOB? With all these things on them, eh? all the very clear no onya ne unu wo na onya we betray ya. Onya abu e betray ya na nde ne we unu the history of betraying others. Nde ne we you can never trust an nde we person. Onya 
Now, yeah, now this old wagu, now this he can go to wagu or whatever he call himself. He are not on the man. Obobo, a a very clear indication that no Sudan did the onion do. Is it not a very clear? Look, this is fine, you ban now. Obu true true, na kaya diocha. Okwasi any yengwe cannot play any yengwe to KG fly onion do from Kenya to Nigeria. Why is he not mentioning the name of that person? Why is he not mentioning the name of that person? On the on the matter of bribery, check here. See the one who knows on our book of Jews or Kalu. Even though I am an anti involved in this thing, he will if he come now that this if I knew about the opera not true true, not Kaya Diocha. Oh man, now edge plan any young worker fly to only do from Kenya to Nigeria or Bankete. He must have at least I got what they said. The Queen Hannah achieved this and that or Bankete. He didn't raise the alarm. Okay, after that, the team metra, or look at the point about point about hand and our point here. Aka, or but I got the punk or the bunk or the news. So, second, I'm a book. I know about when you work it. Can you can you can you didn't did here? And then this babu, this gorilla, this yanner, um, hair attachment in South Africa. Now, I know here this very guy you can go to Agua now. On a bala who this guy, a gaman on your wish, but I go. You can never trust somebody like this. Let go down your name here, Biafra. But now, but I need to defend the fan you buy. Eh? Can you imagine that you get those here at your boy and IPOB? Only a man a lot of things to show you that only a head the Biafra and the struggle for now for emancipation of people of Biafra. Only a mego even worse things than this in the past. Only a mecha even even poor and then and only do. See that now, now see that mama mama only do. Look at something like this coming out from somebody. Now, but you don't do what your family do, what your family do, not what everybody in the family. Now, call palace, you know, see the human being, an egg idiot to auntie. Only see the map, but an egg and work a manty. I'll be good at what I have with my belonia. Now, somebody like this who had a god gave me anything. Somebody like this, oh yeah, well, that is, I don't just understand it. Chica does it happen when you every day on your use of on social media. See, I need to be a friend. Eh? Some people use the name follow you. They might have never followed somebody like this on a page. Eh? Uh, to cry it all, I want to know you here today for monetary gain. Well, the end. Okay, because we end at the end. One no juku and what that made juku his brother to lose the civil war as the commander of Biafra. Take us to India. He ended up dying in exile. Until today, his family has no good record. His family, I don't think his immediate family has any record of recognition in Biafra land. So a guy of this level definitely a take ego his own path or he has known where he's going to end his own life tomorrow and how his family will remain in Biafra land as a betrayal. So I, I, when I see such people as this, I don't think it wise and to know where they are going to end. So his end is supposed to disturb us the more than what he's saying today because he's going to end in in a in a in a in a in a way that his personal person and his family can no longer be recognized and will never be recognized in Biafra land. So he's just saying what he's saying today for monetary gain for him to ride jeep, build a house and whatever. But how did he end in his life? It can never end well. So let that not disturb anybody. Thank you. Honestly, I don't know what to say but we all hope Senator Ifani Yuba is clean in all of this. The man is a highly respected philanthropist who has actually done many good things for Ndigbo. I would be surprised if it turned out he was part of the conspiracy or had prior knowledge but in the murky politics of the zoo called Nigeria, where Python swallows money, where gorillas and chimpanzee conduct bank robbery and make away with billions of zoo naira, my brothers and sisters, Ladies and gentlemen, anything is possible. You have to be heartless to make it in zoo politics and you must be loyal to Janjaweed to be anything in that country.
We are talking about having a Janja weed get out of jail boyfriend in Abuja. So the question is how much can you trust someone loyal to Janja weed? How about the South African doctor of attachment? He wants every blogger to appear on YouTube so he could identify and submit their names to the Nigeria Zoo DSS via Mohamed Abbas, who himself is a ghost. Is this guy serious at all? He should go and tell Mohamed Abbas, the one Nigeria chief job man hiding in Kuwait to appear and address Biafrons on video at least once for crying out loud. What is he afraid of? Let us know what you think in the yeah, comments from. section. Uh, Please don't forget to subscribe to our new channel. You can see the link in the comments and description section. Like, share, and hit the notification day. button to get future updates. Bye. Thanks for Bye. watching. And Biafra Celebration Leaders. This day, the fifth day of November 2022. In the name of God, the Almighty Creator and Ruler of all nations. We, the representatives of the Yoruba, the Biafra people, stay happily inform the world that we have resolved to collaborate in our struggles for the self-determination and sovereignty of our two nations. Our two separate struggles are aimed at achieving two separate nation states, one for the Yoruba people and the other for Biafra. Moreover, as the records abundantly and clearly show, the parts of our two struggles have been different. Inevitably, our two struggles will continue to operate along different but parallel lines. Yet, with humility before God, we recognize and acknowledge that yet with humility before God, we recognize and acknowledge that our two struggles have the same purpose, which is the liberation of our two peoples and their separate nations from enslavement in Nigeria, to liberate them from Nigeria's poverty-generating directions, and to liberate them from endless suffering, oppression, and marginalization. We will henceforth we, the two nations, seeking self-determination, will henceforth work together as two brotherly nations seeking freedom, progress, and prosperity. We are confident that by doing this, we shall make each of our struggles stronger and we shall facilitate faster attainment of our goals. That is the major statement of today. But there are two issues that we must now touch upon before we end this statement. The first is that we, the leaders of the Biafran and Yoruba self-determination struggles, hereby jointly and firmly demand the release of our brother Nabi Kano from Nigeria's custody. Nigeria's courts have ordered the release of Mazi, uh, of Mazi Namdi Kano from the lawful captivity and detention by the Nigerian authorities. The courts have also ordered that they should return him to the place where they picked him up from. The court also ordered that he should be paid 500 million naira for, uh, for his uh, ordeals, for his unlawful ordeals. We therefore demand that Nigeria should now obey its own courts in this matter. The second point, is about the, about the court before the Nigerian High Court, in which Chief Sunday Adeyama, aka Sunday Boho, sued the Nigerian government for his incursion into his and the barbarous. <laughs> And the barbarous destruction of his uh, of her properties in Ibada on June 1, 2021, the violation of his human and civil rights, and unlawful killings of two persons.
in this house. According to the records, the High Court awarded 20 billion naira in damages to Chief Sunday Adeyema in a judgment against the Nigerian federal government and its agents. The court also added the very important ruling that self-determination is an inalienable right of all nations in the world, and that Sunday Adeyema's advocacy for Yoruba self-determination is not a crime under any law of Nigeria. We are aware that the Nigerian authorities have been engaging in their accustomed unlawful manipulation about this case. We want, we want, the, we want the Nigerian government to know that when the peoples of Yoruba and Biafra stand firmly with and we stand by him until he gets signed by the following Professor Bangi Akitoye, Chief Dr. Sande Adeyema Igoho, and Professor Wale Adenena from the Yoruba side. Our brother Samuel Ekpa and Madam Azuka Charles Unwoko from the Biafra side. God bless Yoruba nation, God bless Biafra. The battle is joined now for speedy, for speedy retrieval. The, battle, the battle is joined now for speedy retrieval of the sovereignty of the Yoruba nation and of the Biafra nation. God bless both countries. Thank you very much. Mr. Simon. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Uh, good evening, dear friends and to the war all over the world. Uh, I'm very, very happy today uh, that uh, 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 the struggle is moving forward and we're making progress i'm very very happy to be part and privileged to be part of this historic day i'm very very happy that i'm in the midst of my brothers and sisters from the other side we know how we have started in the past we know how we have suffered in nigeria we know how the enemies have divided us and we know what we have done to have come this far and uh, uh, it is a dream come true one of one of one of the step of at a time that today you do the war and biafra are sealing it and on this particular collaboration to fight our common enemy and see our liberation from nigeria come 2023 Everything being said, everything that we're going to do, we're going to do it in one spirit. We're going to fight this freedom and make sure that the life and properties of our people is the first priority that we have to protect. We have seen the failure of the government of Nigeria as they continue to sponsor terrorism to kill people without remorse. We have seen the handover military equipment, firearms, and military hardware by the Nigeria state to the foreign terrorists. We've seen how the Abuja were deserted a few days ago, and the Nigeria being very helpless because they know exactly what they're doing. It is the responsibility of those who are acting genuinely to rise up and defend their life. And today, the hard work we have done many, many months back, the hard work we have done leading to the invasion of Sunday Igbo's and people were killed and murdered in cold blood. The work we have done in this secret and to do leading to the kidnap of our leader Mazin Americano and he was addition to Nigeria. After this, the Fulani government believed they have won and destabilized us. Today, I can beat my chest and say we are just beginning 
and the liberation of both the Odubas and Biafra has just begun and will get even better by the day. I want to thank those who have made this particular historic day possible. Irrespective of all the attacks, emails, and all the propaganda on social media. I remember yesterday when this particular information was made public. The hell was let loose by those who used to betray the struggle for Africa. The hell was let loose by those who have worked with the Fulani, our enemy government, such Biafra struggle. The, the hell was let loose, and all, all their irat were released, attacking our Odudua brothers. I want to assure people today that you must disregard those attacks and blackmails you have received within the last 24 hours. Those are not just, and the world have witnessed and have seen, and they will continue to expose themselves by the day. I want to thank all of you once more that we are just starting, and by the we get to the uh, level of this liberation and the joint liberation of Biafra and Yoruba. The world will know that it is long time overdue for freedom of the Yoruba nation and Biafra. I want to thank our father, Professor Baji Akintoye, the man I respect so much. And it is a privilege for myself and the entire Biafra media team to be with you today to make this, this history. When people were fighting for their nations and their countries, it is just like this. It looks like a silk, it looks like as if it is work. But by the time it finally worked out, they made history, and today we talk about it. So, Professor, we are going to behind you. We will stand by you. We are going to also make sure that we carry out our common uh, activities that we create the awareness that is needed for the entire to know that Nigeria and the collapse of Nigeria will be. Peace, lasting peace to the entire region and the Sahel as well. Thank you very much. I I, I rest my case here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Samaneba. And then from the, our side, we we are here by invite our uh, professor and the Diron, please. So and then Baba Ewa Musa, Professor Baba Solo. From our side, Chief Sadek will answer. Okay, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sunday at the moment. Uh, I greet all our media, our nation, our and I thank all of you. And uh, I thank uh, the Afro media. Then I uh, very appreciate all of you. And I uh, thank God the support for your support all the time. And uh, I'm very happy today that uh, we are together now. We are nation and the Biafra nation. We are together because we need to join our hand together to fight for our rights in Nigeria. Because uh, we then we don't need to listen to some people that they don't understand. They don't understand our our, our rights. Then our 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 understand because if if you, if we are we are now. If we don't support a jam together, fight for our right today, for so, 100 years to this time, we will be in the Indian government to know that. So, the, the full government. So, I want you to know that. So, we need to support and join our hand to fight for our rights. So, we don't need to listen to some people that are following politicians because of, because of 10,000 10, they are give, give to them. So I beg you, my father, my mother, my brothers, to understand ourselves. We don't need to fight this time around. Then 
You don't need to, to, to waste time to ask for our right. Enough is enough. We don't want 2023 election again. So anything we want to do, we need to do it now. There's no time. Thank you and God bless you. Thank 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 you. Maximum Sunday Igoro. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, all the people, all the good people of Biafra, all the good people of the Yoruba nation. This is the end of the historic statement of the world to Nigeria, all of Black Africa. To represent the deal of hope for Black Africa. Now we are going to achieve our self-determination of freedom and then begin to show what the Black man is able to do in the world. Oh, yes. Nigeria represents a negation of all visions of the black nations of the world. Nigeria is now going to, to, to miss two of the great nations of the, uh, of the black people. And we are hoping that the people sitting in Nigeria who are not joining today to fight along, along, alongside with us will also take their, their time and come and join us. We are waiting for them. It is a common struggle. Even though we are fighting for different nations, it is our common struggle. The duty to the nations of the world to fight it together and to, and to put the, the atrocities of Nigeria behind us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Robert. God bless the United Nation. God bless the Afra. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you, bro. Thank you. Fresh Nation, please. Yeah, from the end, we have our chairperson who need uh, just uh, one minute or two to, you know, Afra, and uh, is a woman uh, I respect much. So, Madam Azoka, Charles Mwamkwa, if you can, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you uh, my fellow dear friends and the of our brothers. Uh, from the other side, you know, um, of course, uh, this is historic. Of course, uh, I equally want to introduce myself. My name is um, Honorable as Charles Wong uh, in the United States. Of course, I represent the UBAT worldwide, and I, I must say I am privileged to be among you guys and uh, to thank each and every one of you. Uh, Mr. Kintoya, I've seen you fight for us, fight for the whole nation of Biafra and the world. And thank you so much for here. And if I want to thank Sunday Iboho, and I am so, so excited to be among you guys. Of course, my, my dragon, my own dragon of Biafra land, as uh, Simon Nekwa, uh, who I have uh, been privileged to work with all the time. I know is a man that has a very large heart to raise your dear friend. So, uh, with that being said, I equally want to thank each and every one of the from the Biafra land and from the Oduduwa side. Thank you guys for being here and all fellow Biafrans and Oduduwa people. You guys are wonderful. And uh, of course, uh, on behalf of Umada of Biafra, uh, we want to send the, the signal I'm wanting to Nigerian government uh, that the amalgamation that was done to uh, 1914 is has expired. Because the marriage is no longer working. Um, and we want to, to let you guys that it's time to let the people of God to go. You have to release the Oduduwa to go. Of course, you have to release the uh, the Biafrans to go. It is time to be on our own, to take care of our own nation. Uh, the killings and the incidents and the raping of our children, of our mothers, of our fathers, of our people is enough. 
Many people have died in this struggle. Many people have suffered. Our son is no longer working. Nigeria has expired and we want to be on our own. And self-determination is not a crime, as you know. You have to obey your own laws by executing the judgment that was made, the landmark judgment that was made to Nigeria, to the courts, to release Mazin and the Kanu, and you're still holding him. What for? I don't know what you're waiting for, but all we're telling you is it's time to release him because there will be no peace in the land unless he's released. And of course, the killing that is going on in our country is enough. We don't want to be widows and widowers any longer. Our children, we don't want to be orphans any longer. To, to let the people of God and then do the wise to live in their own land and take care of their nations. Because that is the only thing you can do right now. Nigeria has expired has no remedy anymore. So in here, that is all matters and are sending the message that do matter for you, the Nigerian gender women. Thank you, my people. And speak with you. Uh, thank you. Yes, uh, and thank again, you. yes, and again, uh, oh, oh, oh. and again, uh, our, our uh, uh, representative from the World Igbo Congress is here. That is the person I said, if he enters, I'm going to say his name and uh, his name also uh, may be in the, uh, the signatory. So his name is <laughs> Honorable Basil Omukwe. Basil, um, Mr. Basil, if you are here, can you unmute yourself so funny. And, uh, <laughs> and speak to address Biafra and Ududuas. Thank you. Mr. Basil, you can also start your video if you have a video on, please. Mr. Basil, we cannot hear you, please. Yeah, we can hear you, but if your video is having an issue, uh, no problem, then you can you can just uh, speak to us. We can hear you now. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so happy to uh, be part of your meeting today. Though I just saw you guys on, I said, let me uh, be a witness to what you are doing, like you always no, what we do is to ask for peace, progress, and the old wherever they are. We always fight and protect our people and ensure that injustice will not deter us will not stop us from what we know that is right for humanity. So this is my message. Whoever is holding anything against us must come to the open to alert our people 